Welcome to this lecture. So in this lecture we are going to create the custom drawable file so that we can apply some styles on our button so that it will look like a piano key. So let's start this lecture. So switch back to your Android studio and so simply right click on your drawable directory that is under rest directory and simply hit on new and simply go to this option that is drawable resource file. Simply hit on and simply you will get a new dialog box. So from here you need to actually select the drawable so I'm going to name it as press and known so I'm going to name you can name it whatever you want but I'm right now I'm going to create four XML files that is four drawable XML files so I'm going to first name it as black shadow so I'm going to name it as B black underscore shadow so this will be our first XML file so I'm going to simply hit OK so you can see that the black shadow.xml file is, will be created. Now I'm going to create three more. Again, the next one is key normal. So you make sure that all the keys should be, all the letters should be in small. If you try to add capital, so it is not valid. And all you can use lowercase and 0 to 9 or underscore. You simply use key normal, which is a normal drawable resource file for our piano keys when we not press the or when we depress the key so this will be the normal style normal custom drawable style for our piano key so simply hit ok i will be coding it once first i will create the all files one by one so simply the next one should be key pressed so when we press the key then what style means what changes we want to apply in our style simply key pressed dot xml will be created now the next one is actually a little bit bigger name because i have named it as because i am mainly concerned with the naming convention so i am going to name this one as pressed and normal selector you can name it whatever you want but for my opinion it makes a sense when you pressed or also a normal selector normal selector So this will be the my final and the fourth one selector that we are going to use right now at this moment. So simply first open the black shadow.xml and simply switch back to text. So and here you need to change this. So first I will just, just close the preview window and simply hit enter. And here from selector to you need to change the it to shape. So simply SHA and you can simply need to press tab. And simply here we need to add some code more but before that we need to add a rectangle because rectangle means i want to say a shape not a shape shape and here we will can use four options means from these four options we can use any one so i'm going to use a rectangle and simply inside the shape means after when the shape tag is closed from here you simply need to type corners so simply type corners now without just simply open the tag and simply hit corners and corners radius i'm going to give it as 5 dp and simply close it as a self tag means self closing of the tag then I'm the, another one i'm going to use solid and here i'm going to use the end dot color so i'll be giving the color as hashtag first i need to type hash then f f then six times four so four 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 and then another three times four so it will gives us a little grayish color and you can see it on the preview so this will be the final output of this code now we need to also close this tag so i'm going to use a self closing of the tag so this will be our code for the back black underscore shadow dot xml so now it's time to switch back to key normal dot xml file and simply hit enter first i just disclose the preview window and simply key press key normal dot xml file coding so i'm going to first change this selector to layer list simply hit tab and you also need to change this so i'm just copying it and because the closing tag should be matching is the opening tag and here what we need to do we need to specify item so instead I'm going to press item, sorry enter and I'm going to add item 
and the item android bottom so in bottom i'm going to give the bottom as 10 dp and again i'm going to simply inside of this item i'm going to define a shape so i'm going to shape and the shape i'm going to use is this point of time rectangle and again i'm going to close the tag instead of this shape i'm going to define a corner so i'm going to use a corners not a corner it's a corner and i'm going to specify the radius as 5 dp that is same as the previous dp that i've defined in the background dot background no not background black shadow dot xml file means you can see it here this background black shadow 5 dp the radius will be shamed otherwise it will create a mismatch in the design simply close the tag then again i'm going to fill on um, this time a solid solid and here i'm going to give the color and the color i'm going to give is this hashtag first need to specify f then 7 then again bc bc so this will be the our color code so now you can preview the output so this will be the nice pinkish color that i want to on my piano key you can change the color whatever you want like from here you can change it to aqua or whatever you want but i'm not going to use i just want to pink color because i already named my style as pinky then simply format the code extra spacing just remove the extra spacing so that the code will be look like more cleaner now it's time to close these two files that key.xml and blackshadow.xml now it's time to code the keypress.xml file so switch back to text and just close the preview and simply again change this selector to layer list we hit tab and simply open another item and here simply type item and here you need to specify shape that is and when you do this simply close the tag instead inside of this one you will find a shape that is android and android shape and it should be a rectangle then i will be close this and inside of this shape i am going to fill a one solid that is solid and the color should be i am going to use a color is around 3 times means 8 times 0 by specifying hash 0 0 0 then 4 times 0 then again 4 times 0 it will give us a color code little blackish color code and again going to define another item inside of this that is item instead of that item i need to define android top so simply select the android top and android top we need to define 10 dp that is 10 dp and simply close the tag and inside of item there is a shape and i'm going to define the shape as rectangle and simply close the tag and instead of this you need to define a corner and a solid so i'm going to use a corner that is corners and i'm going to define the radius as 5 dp that is the previous same in the all our previous xml files that is black shadow.xml and also in key pressed so not in key press in key close normal.xml then self close the tag then again i'm going to use a solid Pressing tab and simply open solid instead of solid i'm going to define the color and the color name that i'm going is first i will type the hash then should be f then 7 the same as pink color that is bc bc again i'm going to self close the tag so now you can preview your code so this will be the our final and you can see that there is a top bar at the first item that we want in our style next time to code the our final and the last press then normal selector.xml file so simply switch back to the text and disclose the preview button now from there we will also add two items then from here we will be using a selector and instead of instead of this we are going to define an item so i'm going to use an item and here i'm going to use an android state pressed android state pressed now it is not strongly state pressed now here is android state activated so we need android state pressed this is one here is 
So we are going to make the Android state pressed is equal to 2 and just simply close the tag, not question mark, close the tag and instead of item, I am going to define an Android drawable. So here I am going to use Android drawable that is Android. Now inside of this item, first we need to hear Android, Android drawable. And it is inside of the drawable, so I'm going to use a add the rate and type drawable. And here you can use key pressed. So that's why we already created the key pressed.xml file first because we want to use that inside of this pressed and normal selector. Means when we press the key and normal selector, both are used in this file. That's why I named the my this fourth.xml file name as press and normal selector. Then after that we need to apply a padding from top that is for the padding from the top the button will be so padding first we need to type android because if you don't type the android then it will doesn't show the option android we simply type padding padding from top and simply hit equal to and simply type 10 dp so this will be the padding from top will be 10 dp not showing this error because i have made a typo here now it's okay because i have missed me as the name of me because i make a spelling mistake by typing the name of the padding then we need to again add uh, another item so i'm going to add item and inside of this item we simply need to close that item and we need to define here a uh, Android drawable again. So simply type as we need to make room here. Simply type Android drawable and instead of key pressed we will be used. Then instead of margin, we need to define a margin here from top. That is margin and the Android margin from top it's not a margin, it's a layout margin. Layout. Margin. Top. And that should be equal to 50 dp. I simply hit. There's no need to close the table, so we already close the tag. So you can preview your code and you can see that it will be look like this. So but the problem is we want a black shadow at the bottom. So how we can achieve this thing? Maybe we have made some mistake in our key. Now we have already used both key pressed key pressed but we want here a key normal. That's why we are getting this problem. So you can see that here we will get a key normal. You can see that the black bar is not displaying. It's actually a white bar, but we want a black bar. So the problem is I need to just actually check the code. So why we are not getting the black bar? So here we have defined a solid. This will be now I don't use a shape. Black. So why I don't get a black bar? This is because I have not added another item inside of this layer dish. So I need to add another item here. That is item. Oh sorry, not item. It's item. Item. And here we need to define Android drawable. And drawable should be of that is drawable. That is drawable key. That's a black shadow is there. And now you can see that our code has been showing a black bar. Now if you see the press and then you can see that will be the our final output of the code. So this will be the our coding for all the drawable XML files. Now I am going to use this drawable source file inside of this style.xml which we have custom drawable file that we have want to create that we left it. So I am going to use it here. So we will type add rate and here we will type drawable and here you can see the press and normal selector. So once you select it and if you try to see the code layout, first open my layout.xml, you can see that the code is 
here. So let me go to the design editor and zoom. So you can see that our button will be look like a piano key. So I am also going to change the this title bar col color. So I am going to switch back to colors. And here I am going to simply switch back to brownish color. I am just copying that color to this one as well. So that's make a little good. Now the color is not matching. So I am going to copy it from here. And inside of color.xml, I'm going to paste it here so that it will look like same in both of the. Now it's matching and it looks nice. You can use custom drawable or if you can give a black color. But now, right now, this will be the code of this lecture. Okay, guys, so that's all about this lecture. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next lecture in which. In next lecture, we are going to place more buttons and also we are going to create the style for that, those buttons. But all buttons use the same style. So the first button should be different because we want to differentiate between these styles so that we can make a modification. So that's all about this lecture. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next lecture. Thank you.